Hey everybody, so this morning I thought I would just take a minute and kind of go through a few of my favorite things that we um, have for our two German short hairs that we have. So come along and I'll show you some of the things that I think everyone should have. Okay, so one of my favorite things is this water dish that we have here that's made by Ruffland Kennels. So you leave it upright just like this and that's how they drink out of it. The water is sitting right down in there. You can fill it here. I usually just fill it right through here. But one of my favorite things about it is because this one is also portable. So I take it with me whenever I take the dogs on hikes so that I always have water with me. And all you do is you can flip it on its back when you put it into the back of your car or truck or SUV, whatever you're driving, and the water doesn't get out. So there's this little barrier. The water's all back down in here and the water's not going to slash around. So what I was doing prior to this is I would have a water bottle and a collapsible water dish that was easy to travel with. But the problem was is anytime a dog walked by it, they would knock it over and the water would spill out um, or I would run out of water because this doesn't hold as much as this is going to hold. Um, and so I just found that when we got this, it just made so much more sense. And now we rarely use this system at all. Okay, so the other things I want to show you have to do with some toys that they have. Now, I have them in my lap, and so the dogs might freak out just a little bit because they get pretty excited when I bring things out. But the first ones I want to show you are the indoor toys that we have for them. So the first one is by Kong, and it's the Kong Extreme line. So it's the ones that are black, not the ones that are red. Um, so these are for extreme chewers, which GSPs are considered, and I have found that these are not near as um, destructible as the others. So these are really good, the Kong Extreme. The other thing that we have for them is this little guy right here. So it's called a Go Nut. Uh, so it's kind of like donut. It's spelled that way. I'll kind of link everything in a blog below so you'll be able to go and see what I'm talking about. Um, but this is indestructible. In fact, they um, guarantee that if you ever reach the center, which is red, that they will replace it. Now, it's a little bit expensive, so it's around like $30 or something, but it's so worth it. We've had it for probably two or three years now, um, and it barely even looks like it's been used. So I will make sure to link those two. So these types of toys, we have tons of the Kong Extreme, which you can get at any pet store. Um, and these, I believe you can purchase on Chewy.com as well. Okay, the next must-haves are the ones that they are most excited about, so they're kind of freaking out trying to steal this stuff. You've seen me use this in videos before, but it's the stuff. <laughs> but this is... You've seen me use this in videos before, but this is the Chuck It Fetch toy. So it's the rubber balls because these are more indestructible than the fabric ones. <laughs> and then there's the hand toy so that you don't have to touch the ooey gooey slimy ball. So I'm gonna throw this so that they will move out of the way here. So the other thing that we also have is just a dummy. So my husband uses this when he's training um, for pheasant retrieves. So he will um, put a bunch of scent on this and then he throws it to kind of train them, teach them to retrieve pheasants so they understand the scent. Um, so we have one of these little dummy things which is su super great as well. Okay, so as you can see, I live in town. You can see there's other houses around me. So we play fetch a lot in our backyard just to keep their energy and exercise up. And anytime I pull these out, they are ready. You can probably hear them whining in the background. Are you ready, boys? Okay, come on, come sit. to show you was the dog food that we gave our dogs. So currently they have been on um, American Journey and it's the grain-free salmon and sweet potato blend. And we used to have them on the Yukonuba 3020, which was um, supposed to be really good for GSPs. And it was for our first one, um, but we found when this guy came along, for some reason they both started getting really gassy and dog farts are pretty gross. So we thought we would try something different. And so after a little bit of research, I found that American Journey um, was something that was highly rated. And this one was supposed to help, um, help keep them from being gassy. Berkeley, <laughs> move the camera. <laughs> So, so far, so good.
So, so far so good. We love the American Journey. They seem to love it too. They don't complain. It's a little bit smaller pellets than the Yukonuba was too. So I think that they can chew it a little bit better. Maybe that helps them digest it. I don't really know the science behind it. I just know I was tired of smelling their stinky bums. So switching over to this this summer, I think has really helped because I haven't noticed it near as much as it used to be. Not to say that it's not still there. Okay, one last thing I wanted to show you had to do with the crates. So our dogs are crate trained, with it, which I think is extremely important because it allows us to leave for certain amounts of time, whether it's for work or whatever, and they go right into their crates, which is their homes, and they're perfectly happy with those. So I thought I would show you these because it's a little bit of a, a, a thing that we did this summer. Um, our younger dog, uh, Berkeley, he constantly kept chewing the inner liner that we have in here. And so you'll see this crate has the liner inside the crate. This one on this side, the liner is on the outside. And so we bought an extra, extra large, the biggest we possibly could liner. That way he can no longer get a hold of the edges and start tearing his liner apart, which is what he kept doing. So we would come home every single day and he'd have this thing in pieces and I just got tired of it. So I had him in the garage for a while on the concrete, which was fine, but when it's super hot and super cold, I don't want him out there. And so we brought him back in and I just decided I was gonna try a super large crate so that all of the edges were outside of it. Um, and that way he's able to sit in there and not get a hold of any of those edges because he's a major chewer. So one crate has the original liner, the other one doesn't. Both of these crates are from Life Stages um, and they're approximately the same size. We bought them at different times, so they're not quite the same, but overall, it's just a little bit of a trick I wanted to show you. If you find that your dog keeps eating the liner on the inside as well, just get an extra, extra large crate and then he can't do that anymore, can you, buddy? No, he's a good boy. Tell me about the sign now. So hopefully this video has helped you today so that you're able to find some new things that might help you with your DSPs or if you're just getting a dog. Um, a lot of these things will help lots of different breeds. I just am specific to German short hairs, which is all I've ever owned. So hopefully you helped. If you have anything that you love um, and you want to tell me about it, please, please do in the comments. I want to hear. I'm always looking for different things. Um, and so I would appreciate anything that you're willing to tell me about. Have a good weekend. Yeah.